Hello, Adam from Volker here. Given I'm the bald one who's not a Jotun, I'm going to guess you figured out I'm the bassist, the superior instrument. Uh, just a little update before we get into the behind the scenes of the recording. Uh, Volker is looking to up our social media game a lot more in the coming years, uh, so I got the idea of starting with the behind the scenes of the recording sessions for the EP. I'll be doing my best to vlog more and more of the behind the scenes of the gigs, show you guys what kind of equipment we use, what kind of stage setup we use, and just what we're like as people when we're not on the stage. And it's more to share with you guys who've supported us throughout all our time in the band, and it's just a way of showing how grateful we are for all the support you've given us. Now, full disclosure, we've not done any vlogging before, so it might not be the best you've ever seen. I am definitely going to slap Jay for getting my gear into view in vertical. <laughs> However, we're not afraid of feedback, so please share any ideas or improvements you might have for us. Uh, we will listen, we will take it in, and we will improve for you guys. We're not afraid to have harsh criticism, so don't worry. And again, full disclosure, unfortunately, this isn't a full-time job. Yet. So the vlogs won't be coming out hard and fast, uh, much as we'd love to, obviously, but we still have jobs and bills to pay, unfortunately. One day, though. One day. Anyway, enough of my rambling on. Um, here's the behind the scenes of the recording of the latest EP. Hope you enjoy. Skull. I'm Craig from Volkapenjurika and welcome to the studio. It's drum day, the first day, and we've just finished tracking all of the drums for the new EP. It's sounding amazing. We've even got extra drums around here for uh, the track that we've been recording last, which is The Right Hand of the Father. Uh, and yeah, it's been sounding pretty amazing. We had Adam uh, beating the shit out of the bass drum, uh, me and Jay both using floor toms, and obviously it has the natural kit that I was using as well. So So it's going to sound absolutely huge. Uh, so I'll have to show you around my kit. Um, so it's not actually my kit. Uh, it's KD Custom Drums, which was a precursor to the British Drum Company. And it sounds absolutely amazing. A beast of a 24 inch kick. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, so, to go around the bits of the symbols that are actually mine, because we borrowed a couple from here to make it even bigger and give us more options. Uh, so, I've got an AAX Sapien 16 inch explosion crash, and they are immense. Like, seriously, it's just such an attack. Like, you cut through it's all of my stabs, all of my accents, that's what I'm using. Uh, over to the other side, I've got my HHX Sapien explosion crash, and again, Awesome, awesome symbol. I'd recently got, no, this is quite a new one because it was under warranty and I got a crack in it. They sent me a new one out and it's an absolute masterpiece. Uh, we're trying to get it lined up. So we've got a 16 inch, a 17 inch, a 19 inch and a 20 inch. So I have a 20 inch uh, Zildjian Avedis Thin Crash and it's just, it gives that extra depth by like having the option between two bigger crashes and that sounds really really cool uh so that's my sabians my zildjans and now i have a couple of minor uh, metal classics customs symbols so i've got a 20 inch uh, metal classics custom ride with an absolutely massive bell that just pings so much it's easy to get in uh which is very useful in songs like hell of war and those that actually have like a ride bell pattern and the china 
I think that we've drove the sound engineer absolutely mental because <laughs> they don't like Chinas, but it's so explosive and so loud. It just cuts through all the breakdown sections, every my big accent. It sounds absolutely amazing. <laughs> Obviously onto the pedal, I've got Iron Cobra 600s. Iron Cobra 600s are the one. <laughs> well, obviously, there's a lot of different ones. This is just the one I'm on at the moment. I'm probably going to upgrade because I love Iron Cobras. I'm going to upgrade to maybe Speed Cobras, maybe Iron Cobra 900. Uh, and yeah, uh, it's been sounding absolutely incredible so far. Long may it continue. <laughs> How to blow war horn 101. Adam, do you care to explain? So the trick is, you get the war horn right, and you've got to push it really in your lips and really blow really fucking hard. Trick. Well, 